There's an 81 year old woman from Finley, Ohio. Oh, oh. Uh, she loves her Culver so much. I get it. The line was very long. When she saw that they couldn't open, she ditched her retirement. That's it. Back to work. And decided she'd go to work for Culver's to try and help them stay afloat. Uh, fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> I'll make I'll make the it butter that, burgers it myself. It ain't, <laughs> it ain't that hard. I didn't know they had a Culver's there. That's new. That's new. Uh, here's the story from WTOL. Take a listen. How many times have you heard this story shared on social media? People showing up to their favorite restaurant to find the doors locked and the dining room shut down due to staffing shortages. We'll hear the Finley Culver's when one of their longest regulars found out about the dining room shut down. She didn't take her anger online. She took herself into the lunch line. Culver's of Finley has been drive through only since last month. Oh, to help by the beef old up staffing, oh. owner Danielle Doxy <laughs> held walk-in interviews and noticed a familiar face. Bonnie was walking up and she's a regular, so I met her at the door and I just explained that we were closed and she's like, no, I'm here for an interview. And I was like, what? And I said, what can I do to help? Yeah, that's right. And they said, you can help <laughs> us until we can get it open and take food to cars. 81-year-old Bonnie August says she was one of the first people in the door when this Culver's opened and has been a regular ever since. Her days of retirement are over. Bonnie now works six days a week for three to four hour shifts, taking drive through orders out to cars. But she isn't quite sure how long she expects to continue working once it does reopen. Well, I don't know. I mean, as long as they'll put up with me. <laughs> she's getting used to that Culver's money. <laughs> she uh, She's one of those like 80, 81 year olds that's like in great shape. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's like really yeah, she is. still quick. And she mm -hmm. moves faster than most of, us, but most of us. Yeah. It's just like the, that generation, they're just like, they're the least lazy people. Exactly. Yes, they are. Like, <laughs> Chuck, Andy, maybe, you know, you could help out a Dairy Queen. Andy, you could help out a Chipotle. If, get well, I'll back tell you what. Track. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't want to help uh, make anyone else's Dairy Queen. But if they were like, man, you, if you're. If you want one, you have to come in and make it. I would be like, if, if sure, they had let me like, do it myself for me, yeah, yeah like, yeah. yeah, they would lose yeah. money that day. Yeah. Yeah. Right? They would, yeah, I'd be like, there'd be a lot of toppings in that blizzard. <laughs> Imagine seeing old Chuck the Freak at uh, a Dairy Queen. <laughs> Welcome to Dairy Queen, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take me a bit. Chuck, is that you? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Chuck, how you doing, man? Hey, you know, shortages. How long have you been working here in the drive-thru? Six years. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, right. I talked to my financial advisor, and he told me it just made sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Can I get uh, one uh, dipped cone blizzard and, uh -huh. uh, and two uh, butterscotch dipped cones? Uh -huh. uh, okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. I don't understand. I can't them. understand you, dude. Shut up. <laughs> Jesus can't understand. Christ, I tell you, David, it's really a mess in here. <laughs> this kid's 14 years old. <laughs> you gotta stop talking to people so long. In the drive thru, I'm gonna have to write you up. That's my boss. <laughs> Seriously. He's 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 sixteen years old. He's sixteen, he's my boss. But it makes financial sense when you really sit down and crunch your numbers and get the discount. <laughs> and you, I was coming here so twice, really, three, really, three, four times a day. Sometimes you're gonna have to walk. You can't just sit on a chair all day. You're gonna have Sweat to. <laughs> you get around pretty good. <laughs> you're gonna have to stop. It's gonna be a zany. <laughs> drive-through chair. It's gonna be a zany. the only one that needs chair. a chair in the drive-through. So I'm 495. <laughs> this morning I lost my pen. I'm very really proud of myself. You're not queen material. <laughs> Oh, 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 no. You're going to regret you saying you do. I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen. Hi, Dairy Queen uh, HR here. I uh, just heard you talking to this employee uh, who's disabled and needs uh, accommodations made with his wheelie chair. So. And so confused. And so confused. And. 
He's know. really pressuring me, <laughs> okay, and I, I think it's time for him to game. We'll have to have a word with him uh, another time. So we, we, you're free to use your chair right now, uh, Mr. Chuck the Freak. Yes. Wow. Thank you, HM. That's, That's the, the fourth manager that big guy has gotten fired. He <laughs> calls HR. Yeah. There isn't a manager that can outlast me. <laughs> Screw you, man. I've got all my bases covered. <laughs> James got a job with HR to protect Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like the mole. He got me yeah. in as like a mole. Just oh, God. Okay. God, yep. You're calling HR. I hope you don't do that. <laughs> oh, hey, Jane. Hey, what's going on? You getting, getting some, some grief yeah, from those he, punk he, managers? He wanted to talk to HR. Is it the toppings huh? again? Yeah, toppings. Oh, understand. And my you chair. the toppings. <laughs> and the chair. They're coming after your chair? Ooh, yeah. That's an accommodation made for a disabled person. Wow. Yeah, I'll true. get right on that. Hold on. $25,000 like worth of toppings missing. <laughs> <laughs> I crunch your numbers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's little. Oh, my God. That's grand theft. Big, big Chuck in his drive through chair with the yeah. Little headset on. They say I can make well, grand theft. I, I do some grand theft about once a month. <laughs> yeah. I know I went through a, a Dairy Queen once and they were trying to make a dip cone and she screwed it up. So she's like, oh, just tossed it in the garbage. I'm like, oh, that. He messed it up on purpose. Yeah, I'm like, oh, good. I accidentally <laughs> dipped it in the wrong stuff. <laughs> See, you never get it right, though. It's just Bonus for me. <laughs> Put yeah. that over there in that fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I always am screwing up the butterscotch and the chocolate, aren't I, boss? Yeah, nobody's ordered that in, in like a week, and you keep mm. making them. I don't know why you, somebody says they want a dip cone, and practice then you make a butterscotch. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> yeah, you're not I'm going to practice uh, Heath Blizzard. You right only here. practice Heath Blizzard. That's all you do. Yeah, and I'm the best Heath Blizzard maker this side of the whole Wisconsin. You can't take that 7-Eleven Big Gulp cups and keep making your own blizzards that size. That's not a use, a, use the official cups. Here's the thing. You can do it, and I will do it. It's hard to make it fit in a machine. Many years from now, look for Chuck the Freak at a Dairy Queen near you. Yeah, You never know when you can see him.